This is the bassinet for a Boogaboo Dragonfly, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles in case you need to wash them or conduct small sewing repairs. So first thing we're going to do is remove the storm cover. It's just a zipper, zipping it around until you can pop it off. The mattress is also quite easy. You can actually take apart the mattress. Inside you can remove this portion, which has the hard baseboard that you're going to need to remove. You're going to wash the mattress. And then you have the mattress itself. You have the cover. And in here you have this sweat element or ventilation element or what have it that Boogaboo has always put on their mattresses. All right, moving on to the canopy. In the back, there is a button here. You need to open up. Separate. On the side here, if you lift up the canopy, you'll see there are these little tags and you need to press them in on both sides and rotate up the back of the canopy until they pop out of the little slits there. And then when you rotate it all the way to this position, you can pull out the hinged parts from here. They're in like a keyhole kind of. Okay. If you look on the inside here, you'll notice on this hinged part, that uh, first off, there are these little stretchy, like uh, elastic bits that go over these tags. There's two on either side. So you're gonna wanna remove those on both sides. Other side, elastic loops. One and two. And then with one of these hinges, you don't need to remove both, but from the inside, you'll see there's this little button so you press it on that button and you can pull out the rib. Other one as well, and I've removed one of these. Now, from the other side, we can just pull out the rest of the canopy ribs and we have the canopy separated. With the rest of the textiles then, if you look at the bottom underside of the bassinet, there are these little buttons here and you're just gonna pull the textiles off of them both sides so and then all the way underneath is also a little like a looped rope in a way and that needs to detach too so that's one side one bit of textile two bits of textile and a little rope loop there you go at this point it's going to be easier if you uh, kind of collapse or half collapse the bassinet. So in order to do that, you need to pull this off of these little loops, this bar, and it slides in a bit, right? So pull it this way first, pull it out from those two things, and then you can slide it in. That's gonna give you a little bit more like um, looseness with these textiles. And then we're gonna pull them off of these feet. So one, and then underneath, there's another one. four of these, right? There's one. And there's this one. I'm just pulling it off the baseboard a bit as we go. I'm going to spin it around. Do this side. Then on the side here, there's Velcro, you can attach, and lift up, underneath is another little Velcro band here, and here, and then, do the same thing on the other side, so I'm going to pull off this Velcro, Get those two loops. There we go. Then if you lift up here 
under the Velcro and under this flap, you'll find a zipper. Washing is concerned, the canopy, the main textile elements for the bassinet, storm cover, and the mattress cover can all be washed on 30 degrees, so cold wash, and then you hang it up to dry. I do recommend just hand washing or wiping any of these two mattress elements. Putting it back together, you're going to want to pull that main body of the textiles inside the skeleton, and we're gonna actually start in the reverse process with the feet. So, this side that only has one layer of textiles first. Then there's this side that has two, and we're just gonna do the first layer for now. So the part, the lower part, inside part, that attaches straight to the baseboard. There we go. We're gonna take our bassinet upright again, and we're gonna start putting the other overlaying portions on. So. Starting here at the foot, you have the central Velcro, and then we're going to pull this over. Come around the sides, and we have these two Velcros. They go on either sides of this little connection point for the handle bumper bar. Putting that on both sides. Then at the head of the bassinet we have that zipper. So pulling it up. the zipper. Okay, this down over. Spin this around and we're going to straighten up all of these textiles on the top. So make sure that those little connections for the bumper bar are through on both sides and pulling this down and around so the zipper is correct. There we go. And we're going to flip it and get back to the bottom side again. And there is these straps with that little like rope loop. And that's going to go right through this little slit here. So let's put all the way inside the skeleton on the side through that little slit. and then you're gonna pull it and take it over this peg. Then, this bit of textiles goes over as well with the eye hole, and then lastly is the side element with that little strap. Other side. Finding that strap, pulling it all the way down and through this little slit in the baseboard Sure it's not twisted. And that little rope loop goes over that 
button. Then this textile piece. And lastly, this side panel. Coming down to the foot of the bassinet, we can then pull this whole portion around and over the baseboard. And then pull the feet through those textile pieces as well. these large Velcros that kind of found their own position. You might want to reach in and just make sure they're lined up nice and straight on both sides that run diagonally there. Then we have the canopy. So you want to find the front of the canopy. That's going to be the portion that has a sun flap here and doesn't have this little hole. Then you have your canopy ribs. And your front rib is going to go here in the front into the sleeve on the inside. And the back rib is going to go into the sleeve on the rear of the canopy. And slide it all around. You're going to take your other hinged adapter, pop it in place. And then there were these little elastic loops that go over the pegs there and there. And the other side. One and two. Then we can take this canopy. And again, there's like this sort of like a keyhole if you look on the inside of this hinged bit, it needs to go in upright like this. And then as you pull it down, you can pop this in through that little like, space for the adapter. And you're gonna need to straighten up the textiles on the back as you go. And it'll snap in place on both sides. On the back side here, there was that button. So that goes right through that little space snaps into place. Okay, mattress. I want to fit that board back into the mattress. On top of it goes this element, there's a little foot sign. This is the foot on the bottom because the head element is a little bit wider. I'll line this up with the second foot sign. that, yeah? So everything's lined up, and we're just going to slot it into that mattress cover. And slide it in the bassinet. And the last step is to reattach that storm cover, which is just a zipper. So in any case, that was how you remove the textiles and remount them on the Boogaboo Dragonfly Bassinet. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.